Okay, <clears throat> welcome back to Gemstone Education. Today we're getting, oh, we're going to investigate a little bit more complicated um, program, particularly on the identification of gems. So here's a quick run through. We'll click on gem identification. Then the program we're going to execute is for larger screens. So we click on the larger screens. If you've got an Android device or iPhone, click on the Android. Now we've got to select our type of gem. And we've got four categories, plain colored, multicolored, colorless gems, or solid opaque gems. We're going to do one of the shorter ones, which is the multicolor gems today. So we'll click on multicolor gems, and we've got a list of examples, or a few pictures of the examples of what we, what we might have that are multicolored gems. So if our gem looks anything like having two colors, we select this. Now we wait while the Excel program loads. Now, we've got to select the colours. First of all, the most dominant colour, and then the secondary colour. There may be um, other colours, but mostly there are two colours. So let's select um, something that looks like something above. So we've got a red and a green. Let's select red, and let's select the secondary. Probably light green, dark green, it doesn't matter. We'll go uh, red and this green. We'll go next. Okay, multiple colours. We've got red and green. And we now go here to select the gemstone. Just a note that Mystic Tape has as many colours, but it's a coated gem. We, we don't deal with coated gems here. So we've got three alternatives here. We've got watermelon tourmaline, amitrine, or tourmaline. We'll select one. Let's select watermelon tourmaline because that sounds like red and green and there's a watermelon. Yes. We'll go next. Red and green, watermelon tourmaline. That's our results. Let's, that's just to confirm it. Uh, here's a picture of an Amitrine example, which is a purple and yellow colour combination. However, uh, assist with our water, uh, watermelon tumbling. Okay, is it worth millions, hundreds of thousands, thousands? Okay, we don't know. Now, we may need some of these tools, we may not. But these are basic tools you can pick up at any, any hardware store, essentially, or convenience store, mostly, which is a ruler and a torch and a rather primitive magnifying glass. We'll click Next. OK, now we've narrowed the search, and you need to select Cut, just as we did previously. The cut, in this case, Let's, uh, let's select that there's uh, mostly uh, emerald colour, two coloured gems can have uh, either ovals or emeralds, it can be many others, but emeralds are common shape. This emerald is not a gemstone emerald, it's just a shape called emerald because most emeralds are shaped in such a way. It is a elongated rectangle with, with angled corners. So we'll select animals and we'll go to regular. It's a regular, let's say ours is ours is a little elongated, let's say. We go next. Now how deep is it? Let's select 
and select uh, an ideal depth and go next. Okay, and now we have to decide whether it's got a window. Now we look at the jam. Can we see through it to the other side? Such as here, we've got a text behind one. We can see through it. Here we can't see through it. Let's say we look at ours and we can't see through it. So we'll put in there no window. So it's a, normally it's best to have a little, little, no window or very small window. Let's go next. Now we have to look at the sizes. We you know it's. Uh, Let's go inches here. Let's, let's say it's, it's over half an inch. Let's say it's uh, just over half an inch, 0.7 of an inch long, but its width is where it was elongated. Um, so let's say half of that. Four. Oops. Cut of millimetres and inches together, so we cut out of that and go to the width next. Here we go, inches in width 0.4 of an inch, and we have 0.7. Okay, now we've done our measurements. Now, is the gem in a setting? Is it a ring or a pendant or just a loose gem? For our purposes here, we'll just go to loose gem, shall we? Otherwise, if it's in an expensive ring, it's more likely to be an expensive gem. No doubt. Although you can't always be sure. Let's go next. Okay, very clear is best. When you hold a piece of glass and you're handing these, you see through. Can you see through this gem? Or is it cloudy? We can see through it. We said there was no window, but is it cloudy? Sometimes you can have glass you can see through, but sometimes it's cloudy. Is your gem cloudy? Select. Is it very clear or just clear or hazy? Let's say it's hazy, for instance. We'll go next. Just as a car, sometimes get dents, dings, rust, pieces missing, so do gem stains. So we look at ours with our magnifying glass, if we've got one, see if it's got any dents, cracks, abrasions. Well, it doesn't seem to have any, so we'll say none. And we'll go next. Okay, after next, we then we get more detail in regards to um, things that might be wrong with our gem. Some of these help identify the gem. So we'll go through them and see what they are. Here we have the clouds, feathers, colour bands. Well, we've certainly got colour bands. So we'll put on colour bands. Uh, bubbles, dark spots, needles, none. None, none of those. And I cannot see any. can see some easy to see. Let's just say cannot see. Colour bands, none cannot see any. Okay, so what do we have now? We've got watermelon tourmaline. Let's go through red and green, elongated, ideal depths, emerald cut, carrot, we don't know. Yet, no window, loose gem, hazy, none colour bands, any. So we go to water, select, looks like water level, now we have to select water. Watermelon tourmaline. So there it is, selected. Okay, now we find out that it's 13.5 carats, which is a big size, and it's worth over $10,000 if it's nice and plain and on the top. So there we go. Let's just go next to see where we go. And here we have Colour gemstones information. So we'll just look this up. Um, we've got colour change, double reflection, multicolour, transparent. That's our gem. Watermelon tourmaline.
Let's see where we go. Colour change. Watermelon tourmalines, multicolour. So we've got a little bit of information. Watermelon tourmaline. Is salmon's precious rating, 470 to 1000. Water is a rare is a rare variety that displays three different colours in the same crystal. Green, the skin of watermelon, pink, the sweet fruit, and red the centre. Tourmaline is strongly echotic, which means that it can show different colours in different crystal directions. Okay, market news. There we go, hang on. Dealers usually rotate, uh, tolerate red tourmaline with some eye visibility inclusion, such as the colour is strong and attractive inclusions. That you can read this and uh, I won't read it through here, because i try and keep the videos as short as I can. Market news, a popular gem if the colours are strong enough. There's a colour transition gem in a large crystal. They are very often included. Ours wasn't. The clean ones are rare, and that's why that's valuable. Often purchased for pendants and brooches. Look for deep red green with good balance. There we go. Okay. Um, the things get more complicated with uh, other gemstones, but this is one of the simplest ones to identify. Thank you for watching.